remember you guys. Hi, happy new year. How are everybody? Cousin Carrie here. I am about to make me a quick veggie omelet because it's the new year and I gotta get a little healthy. Hi Angie, how are you? I'm playing with my angle because I'm trying to see if you can see everything this morning. I'm gonna make me a quick veggie omelet. Hi Jen, happy new year. I got my coffee. Mm. Can I say something about my coffee? I am a Bustelo junkie, okay? Look what they done did. They done made K-Cups with my favorite coffee. Yes. So, with that being said, good morning. It's very cold in North Carolina. I don't know about where y'all are, but it's very cold. The East Coast is cold. And tonight we're supposed to get snow. So, I'm thinking about my breakfast now, but I've got to think about dinner later. It's very important. Just wash my hands real quick. So, ooh, I, um, I was just pulling everything out. Good morning, Marquette. Kang Linton. Good morning. Good morning, everybody who just popped in. I'm Cousin Carrie, and I'm the French Toast Pancake Cousin. It's cold in Oklahoma. The U.S. is freezing, okay? So real quick, I just wanted to, I didn't have everything sprawled out because I don't want this to lag because it is a quick omelet, right? So basic stuff I put in my veggie omelet. I put in some fresh beef steak, tomatoes, some green bell pepper, some red bell, um, some red onion, some baby spinach, some garlic cloves, and to kick in some spice, I'll put in some jalapenos. I love jalapenos. And I was smart enough to open it before the live feed because last time I tried to open it, me and my daughter had a struggle beyond belief trying to open the daggone jar where my mama was on the live feed laughing at me. So it's open. And my eggs. So I'm just going to get to it. Okay. Um, all right. Let me get to it. I hope everybody had a good Christmas and a good new year. I hope everyone's starting off really strong and positive. I'm just going to go ahead and start cutting up my onions. I like thick chunks of onion. I love onion more than it should be loved for most. I love thick cuts of onion. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm not going to tear up the whole onion because I want to be able to uh, have some later. I don't know about anybody else, but I am an omelet person. I love omelets. People like sunny side up. People like, you know, over easy. Some like fried, fried eggs and stuff. I am a big omelet person. So I'm just cutting up my onion and my bell pepper first because it takes a little longer to break these down. I don't want them to be caramelized and mushy. I want them to be biteable. You know, just cooked a little bit. And um, I can smell it already. I'm already feeling tasty about it. And I'm just letting my pan get hot. Happy New Year. Good morning, Antoine, Emma. Good morning, Sheila. How are you? Yes. Did you guys watch Cousin Derek last night? He is so awesome. I appreciate his cooking. It makes me want to cook. I don't have my trash bowl. I guess I'll use this until I'm ready to whip an egg up. So, I don't like how that looks. I'm real picky about my garlic cloves. I'm just going to go ahead and uh, cut 
getting my clothes out. I usually just mash them with a knife, but I um I'm not on that wave this morning, you know. But um, North Carolina, the kids is back in school, so my little man is back in school. Amen to that. Get your education on those who send the kids off to school this morning. Amen to that. There's nothing wrong with a little education. Good morning, everybody. I just popped in on you because I said I'm going. I like smelling garlic. I'm sorry, it's a bad habit. I love garlic. And um, I said I'm about to make me a veggie omelet. omelet. Let me uh go live on this one. See how my quick um omelet takes effect and um, all that good stuff. So I just broke up about seven little garlic cloves. Okay, eight, because that one's staring at me. Saying, add me, add me, add me, please. So that's what I'm gonna do. I ain't gonna discriminate, because he wants to be a part of the pot, okay? Now, I could have went with yellow onion, white onion, whatever have you, but I like something about red onion. It just does me some justice. I like the color of it all. Good morning, Nita. Good morning, Anita. So, my onion feel, my pan feels like it's getting a little warm there, so I'm just gonna sprinkle a little olive oil in there just for the sake of the vegetables. And I'm putting my clothes in, okay. I was gonna put them in whole, I'm gonna cut them in half. I ain't gonna do them like that. Cause it's just like how it is. Just as simple as it is. I'm just gonna toss them up in there. Cause I wanna get my onion, garlic and pepper smell going right now. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put that in there. Yes. And I'm going to dice up my tomatoes. Cause these are gonna break down quickly. So I'm gonna add my tomatoes towards the end with my spinach, as well as my um, jalapenos, I'm thinking. Just not quite sure. Omelets are quick and easy. Oh, get in there. Quick and easy. I remember when I went home to Jersey to visit, I, um, I made everybody omelets for breakfast. I just started sizzling up some vegetables and cracked some eggs and I used up all my grandma's eggs for her <laughs> deviled eggs for Christmas. I'm sorry, I need my onion. Good morning, Derek. Yes, veggie omelet with rough coarse vegetables that I love to eat. So this is how I'm doing it. I'm just going to sprinkle a little garlic salt in there just to put some seasoning on there. Not a lot because I kind of want to go with the natural flavors. A little pepper because I like pepper. I like pepper. Good morning Cheryl. Tony. Of course we will share. Okay. I said I wasn't going to do nothing you know crazy. I was just like showed my face in a while so you know I haven't showed my face since last year oh my god haven't I grown oh so I said I'm just gonna go ahead and saute up some vegetables and make me an omelet and hey why don't I go live and show my face because I haven't Derek has been going ham towards the end of 2017 I feel like an orphan child I haven't been showing my face I've been in my world between work and getting my house in order for the new year. Don't mind my counter. I don't have much room left in my cabinets for my stuff. So I'm just starting to collect on the counter. They're clean though. They're clean. So I'm just going to let this stuff sizzle on up in here. Oh God, let me get some gloves. Oh, coffee break. Mmm. Yummy. Mm. How do I like this pan? It's not bad. Now, I 
seasoned it. I have two of these pans, these copper pans. I season them, meaning, you know, oil them down, throw them in the oven, cook them a little bit so they won't stick. And I'm going to be honest with you. It's not the best that, you know, it isn't a cast iron skillet. So it doesn't do like a cast iron skillet. But you see all this uh, browning at the bottom of the pan? If you put a little water in there and swoosh it around, all of it will lift up and it, it'll be like new again. So that's one thing I've learned. But all in all, you see it's moving around though. You see they slipping around. They say you don't add oil to the pan, but I have to because my body says spray the pan. Yes, Anita. I was just talking about my coffee. I, I've been off coffee for a couple months now. And um, it's been very weird without my coffee. But now that I have my coffee, yes, okay? So I gotta keep mind of my milk intake. So my garlic is getting roasted. They're getting their little chars on them. Yes. And um, my onions and my bell peppers are starting to to wilt a little bit. I just wanted them to get a little charred first because I like that. Let me get some gloves. I'm gonna put some jalapenos in mine. But my kitchen was rearranged and I can't find them. So I guess I have to go for the spooning. I'm gonna have to spoon them. Okay, and remember to immediately wash your hands when you handle jalapenos. I love jalapenos so I'm gonna put a couple in there. It's to alleviate putting in. That's a good one. Wait, okay. Three more. So that alleviates uh, putting in hot sauce because I am a hot sauce ketchup girl when it comes to my omelets. I don't know about anybody else. People are so against ketchup on eggs. I love ketchup on eggs. I don't know. How people feel about that but me I'm gonna squirt some daggone ketchup on my eggs and I am gonna put a little hot sauce on my eggs cuz I like that that's my thing I mean each his own each his own you know so jalapenos is getting mixed up in there <laughs> I let yeah a couple jalapeno turn into like a whole jalapeno right hit my sinuses oh yeah yeah so I'm just moving them around in there so they can get hot with it now some people like to put cheese with their omelets I'm not putting cheese on mine but I will use some Parmesan Romero um, blend um, grated cheese I'll use that Versus the oily slices and mozzarella and stuff like that. This time around, I'm trying to be a little conscious this day, today, all day. <laughs> oh, I hear garlic popping. When I hear garlic popping, that means it's time to drop in some spinach. I'm sorry, I got the coffee belches today. And these are pre-washed... Uh, Spinach leaves, you know, you just grab a bunch, buy a bunch at a, at a, whatever store you get it from. My store here in, is Little, or Aldi's, or Food Lion, or Walmart, whichever place you go to get your veggies. And I'm just gonna go ahead and Get that in there. I'm putting a lot of spinach because it breaks down. For those who don't cook spinach and rather eat it as a salad, if you put spinach in a pan, it's just like any other greens that you uh you cook, it breaks down. Woo! The peppers. <laughs> Woo! Got the sneezies this morning with this pepper. Not to mention, 
it's cold outside. So it's already starting. I'm trying to keep myself in check. Ooh, them jalapenos though. Mercy. So as you can see, they're starting to break down already. See how quick and easy they break down? And I'm just gonna mix these in. And I'm gonna add my tomatoes. Not a lot. Just, just so I know they're there. Oh, God. <coughs> Chow. I'm putting in so much heat in here. It's setting off my sinuses. But for good reason, of course. Very good reason. So, let me get this all going. Yes, Leslie. Good morning. Keisha, thank you. Bless me. Ciao. Please excuse. I got pepper in here. I got my garlic in here. I got my red onion in here. Some green bell pepper in here. You see how the spinach just broke down? Now, if I wasn't making an omelet, trust me, I would have put this on a bed of rice and called it a day. Yes, I have. Oh, Anna, I miss you too. Yes, Derek, you know what I'm talking about. Ketchup on eggs. Is that a Jersey thing? Just wondering. Because down here in North Carolina, I'll be like, give me some ketchup to put on my eggs. They'll be like, girl, no. What's wrong with you? I'll be like, yeah, I'm a ketchup and hot sauce on my eggs. Put some butter, salt, and pepper, and a sprinkle of sugar in my grits type of girl. Yes, I am. So... The way that's looking over there. Mercy. Hey! Hey! That's what I'm talking about. Woo! The spinach just took on the flavor in the pan. And it has heat to it because of the jalapeno. Yes, yes. And because this is the dish, I'm not using two eggs, I'm using three eggs. Three. Three. Three large eggs. Because after I eat this, I'm liable not to eat again until dinner time. Because that's what kind of stomach I have. I can hold a meal all day long. But Lord, them jalapenos is working my sinuses up, child. Lord. All right. So that's all worked in there. And this is my style. Okay. Everybody's different. I'm just going to go ahead and sprinkle it in there. Yeah, I just totally destroyed everything with some cheese. Because that's what I like. So get everything to touch it. Just like so. Yes, yes. And that Parmesan cheese and Romano cheese, Romano, Romano cheese. Look at my bell peppers, chocolate. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. See that? It just broke up. Everything is in love right now. Becoming one. And I'm just going to put it in the middle like that. And let it all do what it do. Lord have mercy. Peppers. Every time I get over that stove, child. Woo. Woo. I feel it coming. Hold on. Ah! Oh, Lord. I am not a quiet sneezer. I'm sorry. I'm not. Woo. Yes. So where did I leave off? Okay. Mm. I'm going to beat these eggs like his daddy's name was Joe Jackson. Tear it up. Now, I think everyone knows the whole thing about an egg. I'm going to put a splash of half and half in my egg just so it can... 
do what it do and get fluffy. So I'm just gonna Yes. So this is ready. I'm gonna put this to the side. Mercy. Look at that. The cheese is stuck to the spatula. Thank you. Thank you. I'm just going to transfer it into this bowl. You remember what I was saying about the scorch of this pan? See the scorch of the pan? That could have been from the cheese situation. Could have. All right. That's doing what that does. Whew. The jalapeno though. I'm just rinsing off my spatula. Because that's how you do. At least that's how I do. Oh my God, the sneezies got me going. <laughs> if I wasn't Cheryl, if I wasn't using the cheese, oh, thank you, Maggie, thank you. Makala, thank you. Blessings from all my sneezing. I'm so sorry I'm sneezing so much. I put a lot of pepper in my stuff. Um, what type of cheese would I use in place of the cheese I'm using? If I wasn't using the Parmesan Romero cheese, I personally, would throw some provolone cheese in there, a mild cheese. You know, if you like to, uh, I like to use Swiss or or provolone. That's the cheeses I like. Um, sometimes I could get fancy and put feta cheese. No work today. Nope, I go back to work mañana night. Tomorrow night I go back to work. But, um... I would love to put mild cheese in there. I'm not a cheddar omelet girl. I'm not, you know, sliced cheese type of girl. I like pro, pro, uh, provolone. Oh, sweet Jesus. I feel my sinus is coming on. I'm a provolone girl. I'm a Swiss girl. And I think it complements everything because it's not overpowering. You know, you use sharp cheddar, whatever have you, it overpowers. Your, your food, it, it kind of takes over for me. That's what it seems like. So I like to use the milder cheeses, you know, this soft provolone, soft um, Swiss. And if you don't have neither nor, sprinkle a little uh, mild cheddar, not sharp cheddar, you know, or no, no medium strong cheddar. Just don't go for no strong cheeses. If you go for strong cheese, you might as well just leave it cheese. Don't put nothing else in it. Yes, Arlette, I live in North Carolina. Yes, I work nights. I'm a 12 shifter, night shift girl. Yes, I am. Pray for me. I have, um, I brought in the new year at work. I worked Thanksgiving at work. Luckily, it didn't do me, oh Lord, this looks like it's a little hot. That's okay. Make my omelet quick, honey. Now the trick is trying to make sure this omelet stay together while I'm uh, <laughs> trying to flip it. Cause this pan does move an egg. It does. So I'm gonna try to get the body of this egg right. And get my pan together. Got a little egg on the table. 
And this is the hardest part for me, is flipping an omelet. I got paper towels in the railroad, mercy. Now I like my omelet a little cooked. Some people like it soft. I like it in between. Because with all this stuff I'm about to put in it, I don't want it to break. Even though it will break. See? And I'm just making sure it's all formed. Oh God, here we go. Here we come, the test of time. Mercy, give me some leeway. Pray for me. Oh God, here we go. I'm gonna try it quickly. Oh! <laughs> Flip, oh my God. I told you, this is the worst. Hold up. We ain't gonna hurt this one. Hold up. We're gonna act like that didn't happen. <laughs> and that's how you break an omelet, guys. That's how you do it. <laughs> it don't bother me, though. You know the ones that are broken the most are the ones that taste the best. You know the ones that are beat up the most are the ones that taste good forever. Pray for me, guys. I'm not feeling myself today, but I'm going to fill this omelet because it's going to taste good regardless. <laughs> oh, cheers. Happy New Year. Mm. All right, so I'm going to make it work, okay? I'm going to work it out, you know. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and toss this Momo in here just like this. It just got hood out all of a sudden. It just got real hood. My whole character changed. I'm sorry. No, I'm not. Because this is the real. This is how it really goes down in the kitchen. People be acting like everything be all perfect. It ain't always perfect. This is not, this is no game. The kitchen ain't no joke. It's either going to sink or swim. And if it sink, I bet you it tastes better. I bet you it tastes better. I bet you. So, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to try to finagle a flip over this way. Ooh, watch. This is going gonna, gonna to work. I refuse to fail. Okay? That's not in my DNA. Oh, well, guess what? It's already cut, bitches. I'm sorry. It's already cut. It's already cut. We ain't playing no games today. It's done, though. Okay? <laughs> hey this omelet is sponsored by little wayne <laughs> i'm just teasing i'm just teasing no shade ouch no shade look at this look at this look at this so this guys is how you make an open omelet yeah See, I did that on purpose. I want y'all to see how it looked on the inside early. I didn't want to be cutting it open. I just wanted y'all to get straight to it, okay? Straight to it. So that is done. I burnt myself in the process. This is not a test. I am hurt, okay? But it's all good. Moving forward. So I'm just going to sprinkle a little cheese on them, on the top. If I can get it out the container. Just a little something. There we go. Boom, boom, boom. There. Omelet is done. I am emotionally drained right now. Oh my God. And here I go. Now, I know there's codes to this whole hot sauce life, but let me tell you, this daggone tapatio, tapatio, is life. You see, ain't nothing in the bottom. This is how you know I be around a whole lot of Hispanics. Shout out to my Hispanics out there. Shout out to New Jersey. And I'm just gonna sprinkle my hot sauce because this is how I eat it, okay? 
Just enough to make you say, ay, ay, ay. Ay, Dios mío. Muy caliente. I know that's right. Didn't I tell you? The worst, it, the worst of the situation, the better it's going to taste. It's going to taste banging. Trust me. Let me go grab my ketchup. Guys, we are not here to play. We are not here to play. We are here to eat, okay? If it ain't, hold up. So, there you go. There you have it. Here is my big, my big hook. So there you go. We're gonna move this situation over towards the table. Pardon me. Ah! Guys, I am having such a morning, okay? Such a morning. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get me a situation to sit down and eat and kick it with y'all for a little bit, as I usually do. <laughs> Mucho burno. For real. Don't look at my dead plant in the back. It got cold. But um, yeah. I'm gonna bring this down a notch. Hold up. Hold up. <laughs> Good morning. Yes. <laughs> oh my gosh thank you guys you guys tolerated me this morning right and my camera's on crooked because that's the kind of morning I'm having look my edges is fuzzy my t-shirt too tight my omelet broke but it tastes good though we gonna figure this out <laughs> Yes, Nicole. Put all your ingredients together and flip it out. So here we go. Get my garlic, my jalapeno, my spinach, my broke up egg. Mm. Yes. With a kick. Mm. So, real quick, what I put inside my omelet, I put in some red. Now I'm about to get bougie. I put in some red onion. I chopped up some green bell pepper. I hugged it with some jalapeno. And I threw in some garlic cloves. Cut them bad boys in half. I'm sorry, my mouth is watering from the jalapenos. Um, I diced up some beefsteak tomatoes and hugged it with some spinach, some fresh baby spinach, and I just miraculously mangled them all together. And in the name of Jesus, I put in some garlic salt and some pepper. And then I just said, you know what, we're just going to get it kissed by an angel and throw some Parmesan and some Romero cheese up in there. And then, honey, I had to make the omelet. We was good in the beginning. But then all of a sudden, I had to flip that and make it figure over. And then we have this. <laughs> My omelet. Open-faced, okay? Open-faced. I did that on purpose, though. I did that on purpose. Do know that. And this bad boy tastes good. The garlic is all roasted. The bell pepper is all roasted. The onion is just biteable. It's not crunchy and it's not wilted, caramelized. Mmm. Just hugged it. Just hugged it. Just said, come here. Just, just bring it in. Bring it in. Bring it in. Yes. And it was quick. <laughs> it was easy. Yeah, Rob. That's how you... Explain a broken omelet. You just call it an open face omelet. So we gonna call this an open. Child, I'm spitting my food. Pardon me. Pardon me. We gonna call this an open face omelet. Okay. And I will try not to eat it all, so I can take a picture and put it on the note section. Okay. And those who are new here, hi. I'm cousin Carrie. I'm the Greens' cousin in North Carolina. 
I'm the one who made the French toast waffles that I saw Derek make. I'm sorry, French toast um, pancakes. You did a very, very good job. Shout out to, uh, I believe, Sheila. She made a red velvet cheesecake for her New Year's entry. It looked wonderful. <laughs> You're not going to get this at the diner unless you request it. Now, there's other times you can mix and mangle your vegetables up. It's all on how you like it, what your taste is. There's times I could just put mushrooms and tomatoes. And tomatoes and spinach are always on the top of my list and onions and bell pepper. Jalapeno is an optional thing. You know, if you like heat, if you don't like heat. But I love... No, I'm not a green, baby. I'm a baker. I'm a baker from the Carolinas. That was raised in Jersey. Just like my green family. And I'm starting to see the burn mark on my wrist. You know, because this right here ain't no game. The kitchen is dangerous. Keep the kids out of them if they don't know what they're doing. Okay? My last name is Baker. And the originators of this page is the Greens. Derek and Anita Green. I am their second cousin, Carrie Baker. And I'm also from Jersey. And I live in North Carolina right now. So that's where you get this little animated spunk in the South. That's me. Ah. Oh, 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 ah. I'm sorry. Hey, Stacy. How you doing? <laughs> Yay. Do you have a Facebook page? I have a Facebook page. My normal page is Carrie Queen with a K, with a K, Baker. That's my normal page, and you will see me up here, not as frequent as the greens, but you will see me pop my face in here. This year, we got a new thing going on. We got over 100 subscribers on YouTube. Please get in there. If you don't see us, if you don't know about it, we have a YouTube page developed and it's reached its peak. We can start doing posts and stuff over there. So you got to get people in there. You got to get everybody up on it and, and plug them into it. Okay, Anna. Thumbs up, Cassandra. I'm hanging in there. You had to show my face for the new year. It's been a little while. I didn't come to the party. Because my daughter's birthday party, her 21st birthday party was the same day as the Greens Christmas party. And I was torn. But my daughter can't say no to that. So that's how that went. But trust me, if she didn't have a birthday party, Carrie would have been in the house. Carrie would have been like, hey, that's what I'm talking about. Pass me some Greens, Greens. <laughs> Hello, Vernitra. Yes. So, I'm going to go ahead and finish eating my omelet. So, I'm going about my day. I got laundry sitting over there looking at me like, put me away. Put me away now before the kid come home. Hurry up. Put me away. We getting cold out here. We just got out the dry. It's cold. So, we need to get put away. So, I got to put my laundry away. And I was thinking about what I was going to make for dinner. I was thinking really hard. I'm just not sure what. I'm just not sure what. You know how I get, Derek. I don't know what I want to make for dinner. And then behold, I'm popping up on your live feed like, this is dinner. <laughs> but I don't know. What I do know is I need to put a hole in this, 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 uh, uh, veggie omelet right here mystery is good she is actually in her bed sleeping it is cold in north carolina and we supposed to get the beginning of the snow that's going to reach the north today or tonight i'm not sure shawanda i don't know what's going to be on the menu tonight i'm really like playing this one by ear that's what i kind of do i kind of be like mm, what are we gonna do no I don't think it's going to be chilly, but I am thinking of maybe a pot pie. I don't know. 
or a pan pie, you know? I'm not sure. I just don't know yet. I'm sorry. I don't know. I'm going to have to figure that out. Maybe I can make like a shepherd's pie. Maybe. I don't know. Ha! Look at you, Derek. Do dinner. Yes! <laughs> I'm just not sure yet. You know, I'm kind of like, ooh. Or I could be like, you know, let me just wing it and grab what I got in the cabinet and just make something up. Because I do that too. What should you cook? Something warm. I know warm is good this time of year. You got to eat something with some heat to it. Like me and this omelet. And I'm going to be real hood about it. I ain't, I ain't nothing girly about it. I'm from the streets. We don't eat little pieces. We shove it. Um, it's going down. <laughs> Soup. Soup ain't enough. Soup you go with a salad or with a sandwich. Yeah, I said it, sandwich. And uh, mercy, 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 mercy. I'm sorry. I talk to my food. You get over here. Mm. Mm. Jumbo soup. <clears throat> Do you mean gumbo soup? <clears throat> ah! Derek, I'm going to beat you. <laughs> Your two former favorites, pot and pie. <laughs> Half of my favorite. <laughs> former favorites. Ciao. But I'm going to think on it. I'm going to think on it. Mm. But I do one thing. If I go live, it's always around the same time. Which is Eastern, 6, 6.30. Something like that. But you know, I got to get past homework with the sun. And make sure everything else is in order. Oh, Shirley, thank you, because I'm over here tearing it up. Look it, I'm going to make it look nice. Hold on. Mm. I'm going to take this off. Thank you, Shirley. <laughs> all right, let me get off this feed so I can take a picture of this omelet before I eat it all. Okay? So if I go live later, catch me around 6, 630. Okay? Deuces. Bye, Derek, your friends.